Good. The only thing I'm not sure if the formatting can stay that way, scroll all the way left, is a uh, treatment setting because it's there's more than one. So like I've got one comma five. I don't know if I have to do like treatment setting one and put all the, you know what I mean? Make a column for treatment setting one, treatment setting two. You got an option. So if you're gonna, if, if they had more than one answer, oh. We could do something we call dummy coding. So, in other words, we would make how many possible? Seven. Yeah. We would make seven new variables. And if they were in that one, let's say number three, they would get a one. If they weren't, they would get a zero for okay. across all seven different variables. Now I'm looking at it. It doesn't look like it's so you got what? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six. So okay. Well, those ones where it says one point five. That's there shouldn't be a, those. That should be a comma. One comma three. Now yeah. I don't know why I did that. Well, okay. So in Europe, they use the comma as the decimal and the decimal as the comma. They got it. They got okay. it backwards over there. I'm in Kansas, so that doesn't count. No, it doesn't. Unless you got some visiting people. Okay. Um, it, so it doesn't, it doesn't look like you got a whole lot of people. It looks like, uh, maybe 10, 15, probably 15. Okay. So Just now we could do it. We could do it that way. So, but let's, let's, all right, let's take a quick look. So the main stuff that I added was, you know, how, I don't know if you'll remember, but what we did last time was we just kind of. I'm going to say arbitrarily picked a cutoff for when a leader was more transformational and said they were transformational. Yeah. Um, what I did here was I actually made a total of all the transformational scores. So like for each one of the subscales, which was the individualized I, I know, uh, consideration, all those things, I did a total. And then what I did was I used, you're going to be able to see this or not. I used the, the, percentiles chart in the scoring manual and figured out what 50% or above what the cutoff would be. And then I used that to gauge whether somebody was transformational or not. So in that column where it says transformational, yes, no, the one identifies that they're above that cutoff. Good. That was very scientific key of you. Or very okay. Scientific. Well, that's why I did it because I wanted to, I liked what we did, but I wanted to make it where I can explain it and say, you know, the scoring manual doesn't give guidance of a cutoff. This is what I used across each of the leadership styles. Okay, so what the way I'm looking at it now, right? This one, this this one tells us if they're transformational, yes or no. This is transactional, yes or no. But you got a bunch of blanks. What about these guys in, that are blank? I didn't know what exactly what to do with them. They are below the cutoff. So they are below the 50th percentile. So I would say they are not transformational. You could make them a, a group of their own that just says, right, they, they didn't show, you know. That they're less transformational? That, 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 that it was undeterminable, right? They were they were a, a mixture of two. They were, you know, like a. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I just wasn't sure exactly how to put it in the table that way. Yeah, that, that, that's fine. That, that is fine. And the same know. thing applies for transactional. A one identifies that it's a transactional. What's interesting as you know, when we were looking at the data last time is there were people who scored high in all of them. When you look at how they come out this way, that you see transformational and there's some that are transformational and transactional, but they're not passive avoidant. And then there's transactional that are passive avoidant, but there, I don't remember that there's any that are transformational and passive avoidant, or if there's, there's one. So it kind of eliminates some of the overlap of the transformational transactional. It does. A little bit of it. There's still some that are all, and that actually kind of makes sense because um, there are people who employ kind of a hybrid of all of them, but they're more rare than the norm. So what? Okay. So what concerns me now is are the are the people on your board, your chair, would they be okay with you creating a a, a, a variable called leadership style and one you know one of those transformational. A different one is transactional, and the third one is 
mixed or neither or something. Are they cool with that last choice? I mean, a lot of times they'll 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 say, "Come up with something that force them." You know, pick them. You're the researcher. You put them in one or the other. Well, and I could put them in one or the other because what I could look at was um, how they because that like if they show both transactional and passive avoidance, then I could look at which one they score higher in. If there's like, I mean, because they both have cutoffs above the 50th percentile, but they're probably not identical on both, if that makes sense. So like, um, let me find, if you scroll down a little bit more, I'll have some that overlap. <laughs> no, it, no it, it makes sense. I know it makes sense. Like, yeah, like um, that one where it shows that their total score, uh, that's line 27. So like line 27 shows that their total score transactional is five and their total score passive avoidance is 3.75. So that would make them, is that right? Yeah, a passive avoidance total. That would make so that would make, make them, uh, what did I say? Their, uh, so their score, so I have anything greater than or equal to 4.67 makes them transactional. And anything greater than 1.5 makes, greater than or equal to 1.5 makes them passive avoidant. So in this case, they would be much more passive avoidant than they would be transactional because they're 3.75 for passive avoidant. So how many groups you got? What do you mean how many groups I've got? I've got three. So, so you got transactional, transformational, laser. And passive avoidant. Passive avoidant, it's the last one. Oh, one. I got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. So there's two sub skills on that one. Got it, got it, got it. So on that particular line 27, their total passive avoidance score is 3.75, but my cutoff is anything greater than or equal to 1.5. I got it. I got it. I think I got it. So I then I would, it. I would, I would label them as passive avoidance. I think I can argue that. Yeah, That's I think, easy. I think you could too. No, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking SPSS -y, trying to figure out how we're going to put this thing in SPSS. Um, I think, I think it only take me about two or three minutes to get this thing going. Well, I'm more like five or 10. Um, so do we need to identify the ones that overlap and pick? Yeah, let's see how bad that is. First of all, okay, so again, this is a copy of your data. Right. So in case I screw it up, you can't beat me up. Oh, I can beat you up, but I'd have to fly to California to do it. So. <laughs> and I don't, know if, I don't know if it's worth the airfare. So. I'm old. I'm old. Don't beat up old guys. You're not supposed to beat up old guys. That's not very nice. Okay. We're going to make a new variable called leadership type. One will be transactional, and it's just it's just arbitrary. We're going to name we'll, num, one will be transformational, two will be transactional, three will be lays up air, four will be we'll just call it other for now. Okay, so is that for in case we can't identify one? Yeah, because because not everybody is gonna easily fit in there. You're gonna have some some leftovers. Well, let's just see how bad that is. First of all, uh, hold on, uh, okay. insert cells. How about a row? Okay, so let's call this leadership type. And let's get it ready for SPSS by putting them there. And then we'll label them somewhere. Let's let's label them up here. One will be transformational, and then two will be transactional. You get such long names here. Transactional. Separate your two is an ampersand. But. Three is lazy fair. I can't ever spell that. Lazy fair. Uh, passive avoidance. Oh, passive avoidant. I knew that. I just stuck there. Uh, three equals passive avoidant. And four would be lazy up there. I don't know how to spell it. No, four would be other. Four is lazy up there. <laughs> no, four, four is other. Other. You don't have a lazy affair here, yes or no? No, you don't. You have a good one. Lazy affair is a sub skill. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Point. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, 
Right, let's see if we can't straighten this out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you need to be fixed. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't want to cooperate with you. No. I'll make it work. Force it. I'll make it work. Why is there a bee there? We don't need a bee there. I don't know. All right, that was good. Good, that was good, that was good. So that's us. Uh, okay, so let's move these guys. Let's just hide them. So who's first? Transformational is first. Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna... Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh -huh. No one hide the transformational total. I'm huh? gonna need that. I'm gonna need transformational total. Okay, all right. That column, that column I'm going to need. Okay, we will hide everything up to that column. Hide column. There they are. God, it's not brain fun. All right, so these two, and I'm going to hide. Subscales, yeah. Should I keep the transactional total as well? Yes, please. You got it. No extra charge. <laughs> so we're not doing these. But we'll keep the totals. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right, here we go. Okay. Now I Oops, get in there, you. I need boxes. My balls don't work that well. Okay. Um, okay, so here we go. This one is passive avoidant. Yes? It would be... Right, he's got a great big old yes or no right there. Yeah, 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 sorry. No worries, no worries. All right, so can I do... Let's do the... Yes, yes, yes. I've... Mm -hmm. All right, didn't want them that big. Okay, please. Uh oh, because it unhit everything. Yeah. That's annoying. Stupid computer. It's the computer's fault. It wasn't my fault. Okay. All right, I really. Don't 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 do 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 Okay, here we go. So one makes yeah, the three. Absolutely. You know what? We're gonna do this the fast way. Transformational. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna say equals if this cell equals one, then we're gonna write a one. <coughs> if not, wait, ooh, I forgot my if. <coughs> Equals if. Up the function. If. Shit, I screwed up. Please hold. <laughs> <coughs> but see all the. Oh, I got what you're saying. Okay, man. There you go. Okay, start that over again. So, if, right, got it. Okay, so if, if, okay, pull up the function. If, if, if this cell equals a one, then write a one. If not, equal to zero. Boom. So that's going to give us. But that won't work. If you're, are you going to write the same formula? We're going we're gonna to re just repeat all four of them. Oh, so that you don't have to go through and type them. Gotcha. Because I'm lazy. Okay. So there's. Then that. you're going to do the next one. 
Um, but now I'm afraid. So if I did the two, I'm just thinking out loud here. So if we did if that equals one for these guys, the marker with the two. See, I don't want it to switch over. Mm -mm. All right, you know what? I'm gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat. Cheat, 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 cheat. Because they do have some overlap, so. Yeah, so this is this is transactional, right? So transactionals are right. going to be twos. I'm going to spell that. Uh, are you just going to do a find for place? I could do that too. All right, I'm trying to I'm trying to think something uh, where it can just merge them all together at the same time without having to type them one at a time. So. But I think I'm burning daylight here. So let's just do it the old fashioned way. So leadership style. So we got a one. So this one is going to be a two, right? This guy's a two. Here, let me get these guys out of the way so I can get a better look here. All right, that guy's a two. Yeah, let's just do it this way. Two, 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 two. I'm not very mathy, but very effective. Except for, for a few of these down here at the bottom are, are both, so we have to. What? I said some of the ones down there at the bottom. Are oh both my God. Both. You want to make a new one called both or more than no, one? That's the, no, this is where we were going to, I was going to pick one based on what my cutoffs were, which, which they were more. All right. So let's, let's highlight the ones that you're going to have to make a decision about. All right. And there's another one. There's a couple. I think you've only got the transfer, transactional and passive avoidant columns. Yeah. You have to add back the transactional just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. And I didn't really, I would have done that already. I didn't really think about it until we started talking about it. And I was like, oh yeah, I could just force it. No worries. We can make another category that says, you know, some kind of weird mix. Weird mix category. All right, so let me open up the other guys. Let me just open them all. Unhide, unhide, unhide. All of the cutoffs. So what we need is this one and this one. This one, this one. And all right, so let's do this. We're gonna hide you again. What the hell? You hid Rose. Oh, that's why. Okay, I was just testing. <laughs> good, I good. I You're making sure I was paying attention. I good. You passed it. Hide columns. All right, hide column. Oh, you don't want to hide that one. Well, I was just gonna line up the one, one, one. Oh, one. one. Okay, and then we can go back. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll unlock. I'll unhide him here in a second. All right. Well. Now then. So let's look for anybody that's on more than one line. There's one. And there's another one. There's another one. You got a, you got as many. Whoa, you got a lot of them. Yeah. So I'll just, I'll force pick. That's okay. I've got my cutoffs here, and I can. Yeah. Okay. Actually, what I'll do is I can just, um, I'll pull up my final data sheet on my, my computer. And um, 
Oop, there's no one. That way you don't have to unhide. Uh oh. Trouble in the neighborhood. Werewolf, werewolf. Oh. I would guess that is the mailman. Oh, yeah. I might be good. Where the hell did I put my data set? Final data set. That's the wrong date. Where's my right one? Now I could open up the one before transformational, one before transactional, one before passive avoidant. I just lost my window. Where'd my window go? Hold on. I didn't. Where did you go? I lost you. Where'd you go? Back to meeting. There you are. <laughs> I lost you for a minute. Um. Piper, Piper. He's trying to tell my one dog, go get your sister. <laughs> he didn't listen. All right. So, what was that? 16. Line numbers. It is getting really windy where I am. Oh, really? And we got tarps all over the place. So, oh, that doesn't uh, bum well then. If I well, last week, two weeks ago, we lost four out of six, um, but they all ended up in a tree. So it's just it, we don't get that much wind around here. It's like you know we're San Diego for granted. You know, it rains three times a year. I don't have. You're gonna have to unhide a total column because I don't have. I have that. That's just passive avoidant on line sixteen. Oh wait, you added a line, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I had, I had a couple of them there. Hold on. It's, you know, Unhide columns. Dude. Let me let me stop. Right to grab me crazy. Piper, come. Come here. Trans. Be naughty. Transformational transactional. <laughs> oh shit. Yola. Transactional. Yola. I'm inventing a new language here. Passive avoid another. Okay. Transformation, all the way there. Got it. Okay. All right. So. Okay, I got it now. I'm I'm there now. So I'm there. Let, let's pick them all up. But let's you decide. You tell me what you want them to be. A one, two, three, or four. And I'll okay. keep I'll keep the the number before each. Yeah. Or no okay. category. Yes, please. That'll help. You got it. Okay. I take back everything I ever said about you. Nobody listens anyway. Oh. At least they're talking about me. Oh. <laughs> True. Right. So there's right total, 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 and passive amounts. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, so this we're guy is uh, nothing, right? He's blank tank, right? So. Okay. Yeah, that's blank. This one looks like he should be passive avoidant. Yes. Actually, up a row. Huh? Up a row. You're off a row. Am I? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You win again. Oh. I'm just testing you. I'm awake. Kind of. Good. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. And then this one doesn't have anything assigned. But he's highest in transformation. Well, it's yeah, I have to compare the totals to the cutoff. One off of that. Um, yeah, transformational. I would go transformational because my cutoff is 15 for that. Yeah, that's pretty damn close. Okay. Next. Uh, passive avoidant. Just a passive avoidant. Next. Nothing. Next. Passive avoidant. I agree. Next. Nothing. Next. Transaction. Transactional. Next. Um, nothing. This one looks like close to a one, right? Is trans transformational is the highest. Five, four, six, seven. Yes. One. Yes. 
Good. Next guy looks like a two. We already got him. Yeah. Next guy he looks like a three. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Up around. I missed one. This this guy should be a three. Now this guy you gotta you gotta make the I call. Pick between okay, so I had seventeen point two five. Two point zero. Uh, transformation. One. Yeah. Next guy is a three. Blanky hanky. This guy is a three. That one. Um, I'm going to say. Uh, transaction. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. 3.75, 4.67. Just kidding. Two point. Which one am I looking at? Oh, 1.25. Oh, actually, I'm going to go uh, three, passive avoidance. Passage avoidance, thank you. This guy. Oof, that one's ugly. Um, Remember, if you're not sure, you got another option. Let's be, let's use other on that one, and then I can go back later and look. Other, good. But this guy. Transactional. That's a two. How about this guy? That's we'll make that other. Other. How about this guy? Last blank. Oh, blank. This guy is a one. Oh, we already got him. Yeah. This guy is a two. We already got him. This one, you oh, got to... I got to pick one. Um, uh, um, that's going to be uh, passive avoidant. Three. Three. This guy, nothing. This guy. Already got it. Oh, yeah, we already got him. No, 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 no. So this guy... Um, transactional. That's a two. This guy. Uh, uh, make it other. Four. This guy is a two. Yep. This guy Pass is, a, is a three. This guy is a two and a three. Um, um, three. Lucky three. This guy is, looks like a three to me. Yeah. This guy is a two and a three. Uh, three. Three it is. This guy is a two or three again. Uh, three. Lucky three. This guy is a one, obviously. Ain't nothing here. This guy is a three. This guy is a one and a two. Okay, that's, that's a one. One. Mr. One, have some fun. That's a nothing. That's a something, but it's not marked here. Make it other. Other. This guy is a two and a three. Um, that is a two. Two it is. This guy is a one and a two. Oh, wait. Hold on. Go back up to that one. Holding. This guy is a two and a three. Yeah, that's actually a three. Make it a three. This guy is a one and a two. Uh, one. One, one, one. This guy is uh, other. Other. 
nothing here. Okay, this guy looks like a one. Wait, no, no, no. We got him. Uh, two yep. um, he's a one and a three. Um, he's gonna be a three. Number three. Nothing. This guy looks like a one. No. This guy looks like a three. Nothing, nothing. This guy is a one and a two. Uh, he's going to be a one. Lucky number one. Um, this one is a two and a three. Um, that's going to be a three. This guy is also a two and a three. Actually, he's a... A one, a two, and a three. Oh, you're right. He's a he's a triple hitter there. All right, so that's two point five. Um, that's gonna let's make that an other because those are all pretty strong. All of them makes sense to me. This guy looks like a one. All right, this guy's a one. Yep, just a one. This one is a two. Two. Yeah, this one is a nothing. Then these, okay, this guy is a one and a two. 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 This guy is a one and a two and a three. Yes. Uh, make that an other. Other and last but not least, he got a one and a two. Um, that's a one. one. All right, we were saving this bad boy. Now, what do you want to do with these the blank ones? Should we delete them or leave them in? What's going on? Is there more data for these guys or what? No, I'm trying to figure out. I think I. You can. You can delete the or delete the zeros or because right. it's the reason why they're there is because they probably have scores for burnout or gender or whatever. But if I'm looking at leadership type and I don't have data for that, then I can't really use them. All right, let me clean that up real quick here. Wind blow, blow, blow. Quit blowing. Good wind. Unhide all the columns. Okay, magic time. Oh. This one. And if I go to sort, smallest to largest, all right, here are all the zero types, right? Because they didn't have anything in there, bastards. So many we're dealing with. So you started three. So 47 minus three is 44 plus one. No, yeah, 40, you got 45 people, 47 minus three. That have leadership type data and other stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. We're good to go. Okay. Here we go. We're going to we're going to SPSS. And I see you're recording this. Oh, son of a bitch! What? Are you not supposed to? No, I recorded the last one. That means this video is going to be like four freaking hours long. Give, oh. Give, Give me, give me here. Let me open up a new one here, and then I'm gonna jump out and turn that sucker off. We don't need to be recording this here. So, well, the only reason I would want the recording is to see how you do the SPSS stuff, so I can recreate that. Okay, so so let me. If you want to stop the recording to end that one, and then come back and record just the SPSS part, that would okay. be helpful for me. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go okay. ahead. So stop recording on this. Okay, so hopefully this is a new one. If not, okay, you cannot minimize Zoom when you're recording this meeting. Okay, hey, okay, get off my back, you second machine. Okay, so, uh, all right. Cool. So we got the new file. So let me pull this bad boy up and then we're gonna, we're gonna get the numbers first. Beep, 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 beep. Copy. 
And then over here, where are you? There you are. And we're going to go make sure we're in data view. And right click. And we're going to paste. Oh, good, good, good. We got them all. So. And where's Betsy? Oh, I have my own folder. You do. I feel so special. <coughs> you should. Good thing I do, though. <coughs> have, you got, have you gotten your COVID shot yet? Nope. Oh, I know something that you guys don't. What's that? That heavy smokers are 10 times less likely to get it than people that don't smoke. <clears throat> they don't tell you that, but it's true. How do you know that? Uh, I, I read it on a website, a statistician's website. Hmm. And like an actuarial kind of thing. I will. You know, I'm a smoker. I'm going to take it. <laughs> Anybody says, you know, it's. Smokers, smokers always daydream of, you know, these horrible diseases coming across the world and only the heavy smokers survive. So. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's pretty weird. So, but no, I, we're going to go out. I mean, we, yeah, I, I had no big rush. We, I don't go anywhere, to be honest with you. You know, I go to yeah. the store once a month and our, our biggest thing is the grandkids, but the grandkids, one is two. She don't go anywhere. And the other one is getting Zoom schooled by my wife. So there's there's not a lot of contact with anybody. I mean, yeah. But we, we will go out and get them when it gets easier. Yeah. I got both of mine already, but that's because I'm essential and I check patients in. And no, I, you know, and I, I know what's, I get my cough. I have a cigarette cough. I've been smoking for 50 freaking years, for Christ's sake. So, yeah. But whenever I go to the store, you know, and I have a cough, everybody looks at me. <laughs> said, no, 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 lung cancer, lung cancer. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's uh, always like, asthma, asthma, I have asthma. <laughs> Calm down, I have asthma. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get these, let's get these guys. -na 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 -na. And again, you looks like you did a good job about getting those formatted correctly. SPS ready too. I mean, let's see, we just want, oh yeah, like this. So SPS, that'll kick it out if there's anything not that it can't handle. So yeah. One thing is it cannot handle spaces, which is weird. All right. Yeah, I remember that from when we did the other. That's why I went ahead and put them in like that. Good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put these in like this. I can, I can be taught. Good. It's, it's important to know. Contrary to what professors might say, I can actually be taught. Professors, what do they know? I don't know. Okay, so variable view. Paste. Um, what? Existing variable. I beg your pardon. Oh. Yeah. How did that happen? We will find out. So it went down to personal there. Personal accomplish. And so it says intrinsic. Oh, you do. You got two intrinsics and two. Oh, I think I had that happen with my last data set, too. Okay, I'm just going to label. I don't know how it happened. I'm going to label the second one 02 and intrinsic 02 as well. Yeah, I don't know why. It's, I don't know. I, uh, I've, got I, that, I, I've got that dissertation kind of data stare going now because I've looked at everything so much that I don't see things that. Yeah, I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. So close, Richard. I'm so close. Good. That is good so news. Stinking close. You can see the light. The light. Walk. I can see it close enough that now I just live in fear that I'm going to be found to be a fraud. No, you're not. Okay, so after extrinsic second, there's a copy. General Sat, you got more than one general. Yes, you do. How do I have more than one? I don't know. <laughs> It did. I don't know. We're going to, I'm just the same thing. I'm going to make general sat one and general sat two. I always have the Mick Jagger satisfaction. As in can't get no. I can't get no. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing that joke. Oh, I am. I am not a young whippersnapper. Man, these people, you know, you talk about Frank Sinatra and they go, who? Yeah. <laughs> get out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, we'll get it right. One of these times. There we go. 
Boink, boink, boink. Oh, you bastard. I didn't do it. The general sure. satisfaction of two didn't copy. Oh, I bet you I put the wrong number in there. I did. I don't know the difference between one and two. All right, so let's just go from here. So, Almost there. Legal character contingent reward. Contingent. What do we got? The illegal there. I don't see nothing illegal there. Do you see anything illegal there? Uh -huh. So it means it's probably a space. This is the weirdest thing, right? Because we don't see the spaces, but the software does. And it's probably at the end. So let's see if that worked. Wait a minute, is that the right one? No. Contingent reward. Why do I have some not right here? Twenty-four variables, but this says we got. 28 variables. Okay, I did something wrong. God damn. Yeah, it's not an opposite. Yeah. First things first, let us go back here. No, here, here, here. So we got A through AB. So, oh, that's what happened. I got some hidden here. Uh, let's unhide everybody this time. Unhide the columns. Okay, that looks better. So now we're gonna have to redo this. Well, it's not that big deal. We'll do this. Control. Our CEO at my agency has stopped sending um, just like CEO written updates. And now she does a video update, which annoys me because the written one I could just skim, but now I have to like watch the whole freaking video and I don't really want to watch a video of her. So now yeah. I'm not getting any of her information because I just don't watch it because I'm oppositional and I'm like, you can't make me watch you. <laughs> I, I feel your pain. I mean, I was in a meeting yesterday and I, I fell asleep. And I... <laughs> That's awesome. I keep telling these guys, please don't, please don't invite me to these meetings because eh, they're not for me, right? I'm the only staff member out of about 300 guys that actually has to deal with academics. Mm -hmm. They never know which department to put me in. I've had like seven different bosses. Mm -hmm. um, at one time, my boss was the provost and she, she didn't know what to do with me either. So, oh, well. Let's try this again. Here we go. You're going to work this time, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah. Ooh, really well. So all the way down to contingent reward. Contingent reward. Contingent reward. <coughs> Here's my contingent. There it is. Okay. So that means that this one has a space. <coughs> oh, oh, they all got spaces. I bet the contingent. There's spaces there. I don't know. Let's try that one again. Mm -hmm. All right, you're pissing me off. We're just going to have to do this the hard way. Do it the easy way or the hard way. Management by exception. Oh, there it is right there. Uh -huh. Oh. Right? It's hard to see those spaces. We don't have those computer eyes. Thank goodness. They're coming. Done. Okay, so that's good to go. Now we got to get rid of some of these string things. Why are they strings here? 
<clears throat> Why are there strings there? Okay, so let me double check. A string means that a letter has been entered. And I'm not seeing the letters. I don't know what the hell this thing's thinking. These are all numeric. Okay, you get get out of there. So right, all numerics. Yes. Next, we need to we need to label these of values. One was transformational. Right. Transformation. Oh my God, I got it right. Two is transactional. A transactional is pretty good to me. Three was passive avoidant. And three was, or four was other earth. One, two, three, four, okay. And that makes that one of these and nominal. Okay, so let's save as. And in gender, um, remember what the numbers were? Um, I have, I don't, I have one as female, two as male. That's what I need to know. One is female and two is male. Okay, so let's see. I think the rest Evan of the burden has numbers assigned to it. Numbers. So, so what I have is because um, the admin burden was rated on percentage, like zero to ten percent. So, 10%. so what's the difference between a five? admin bird number and a one. Oh, uh, the, the amount of burden. Right. So the higher the number, the higher the burden. Right. Ugh. Okay. I and it's got per specific percentage ranges associated with each number. Okay. So the higher the number, the higher the it goes up, right? Yeah. But like a one is zero to 10%. A two is 10 to 25%. That makes it an ordinal variable. Okay. How about tax setting? Treatment setting, treatment settings, <laughs> they're I'm categories. A, I'm, so, a, I'm a statistician, I'm not, okay. So I what do are, what are the categories mean? What do the numbers mean? A one means private practice. <laughs> private practice. A two is school-based. Three is government. Government. The government. Government cheese. Government. Four is for profit. Four is for profit. Five is non profit. Oh, well, I'll let you keep going. Oh. Five is non profit. Yeah. It's like me. <laughs> Six is hospital. And seven is substance use treatment. Substance use or abuse? Abuse. Abuser. I'm not an abuser. I'm just a user. Okay. Okay. So that's for those. Okay. So how about your intrinsics? Um, those that's a, that's a score. Yeah, those are all scores. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was just looking through the list to see if there was anything else in there. Piper. UPS. Ooh, 
beauty. Um, are those are, are they okay? Transaction total that's a scale do management by exception. I think these are all scaled, right? Let's just double check. Yep, they got regular numbers in them that makes them a regular scaled numbers. Okay, yeah, you're good to go. What is this one? Uh, okay. What does management by exception in active mean? It's a score. So same thing, the higher the number, the higher the... That's an actual, uh, that's a management by exception active is a subscale. So that score, that's a score. So it's, it's scale, yeah. Okay, so the higher the number, okay. okay so, so since, okay, so the difference between an ordinal and a scale is an ordinal is whole numbers. They're, they're discrete numbers, one, two, three, four, five. So the higher the number, the more, the stronger the characteristic. So, and then this qualifies, right? They're all whole numbers. That's the beauty about the ordinal variable is you can use it as either a scale or a categorical. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, okay, I think you're ready, Freddie. Crap, it's 12 o'clock. Hold on, I gotta see if I get a 12 o'clock appointment here. Crap. Crap. This computer, there's you. Now, let me just double check. So, transaction total, scale, ordinal. Quick look at the actual data. So, right, 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 right. So these transactionals, so we, we should probably mark all these. One is yes, and two is uh, zero is no. Yes. Correct, brother. And did we... Well, we got it, we've got it marked on the other end. Oh, yeah, we do. We, we do, we do, we do. So, yeah, that's not a biggie, I guess. Uh, yeah, we got it marked over here. All right, I think you are ready to go. What do you want to know? Um, well, let me ask you, because I sent you like my list of what I wanted to achieve, but let me ask you rather than run it right this second. But so I was looking through some other, some dissertations that um, used uh, the leadership scale that I'm using. And in it, they, they ran a, an analysis to confirm that each of the subscales was significantly different from the other subscale within the measure. I assumed that that was intended to confirm internal validity, that it is showing different things. I don't know if that's- Yeah, it's, yeah, internal validity. It also goes by this, this it's either discriminative validity or divergent validity, one or the other. In other words, you're trying to show that the measurements aren't equal. If they're equal, then you're bone. Right, you don't know which is which one they're saying yes to. Okay, so I already did that. I'm just not sure if I did the right test for it. So what I did was I did a one-way. Wait, let me make sure I'm doing it. I did a one-way ANOVA for the subscales, like for transformational leadership. Okay, let's pick one. Transformational leadership. Uh, so it's got all the subscales or all the eyes. So transformational, like total? No. What I did was I looked at the subscales. So I looked at idealized influence, attributed it and behavior, those, all those eyes across. I looked at those and ran an ANOVA with those. What was your grouping variable? Um... Now, okay, let me, let me back up. So somebody that's transformational, would they be high in all four of these? Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on your definition of high. Well, so and that was kind of my question. Like when I was asking you about that, because I sent you the email, I was like, this is what it says in this dissertation. And I was a little confused. 
Here, let me let me see what. So it's like they in the table because they didn't really say what they did. They just <coughs> it's called analysis of variance for the subscale of transformational leadership. And so then it's got the data that it shows is that between groups within groups. <coughs> I don't know. I couldn't figure out what they ran. So an ANOVA means there's a grouping variable. Like, like, so let's say military branch and the levels are Army, Navy, Marines. Right. And so the they DV, a, so, so the DV know. would be if there's any, like, push-ups. Is there, is there, in other words, can Marines do more push-ups on average than the Navy guys, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't see what the grouping thing is here. Okay, so maybe she didn't run an ANOVA then, and that's what confused me. But the title of the table says analysis of variance, which is what threw me off, because that's that, an ANOVA. That is another. Okay, so let's just let's just back up a little bit. So what I really want to, I guess, what I agreed with that she did that to confirm that within the subscale. So these five subscales, the eyes, the eyes are all subscales of who? Transformational. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a real quick uh, reliability check, a Chromebacks reliability check. Okay. So we're gonna go to scale. So the eyes have it. A. A. So idealized all the way down to individualized. Yes. Good. So we're gonna go to item scale, scale deleted. Now we want a a value of 0.7 or above. Okay. So if, if not, we'll have to go from there. But ready? I'm ready. Are you sitting down? I am. You're fine. It's 0.888. So you want a value of what? It's got to be greater than 0.7. So you're going to write something like these five subscales, blah, 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 um, had a Chromebox alpha of 0.888. Therefore, the reliability of this factor that you use to make the other, whatever the subscales to is in fact a good factor. Does that make any sense? Yes. And then, you know, make it sound statistic-y. Okay, do you do the same thing for say transactional leadership, which only has two variables? Yeah, you should. Okay. You should anything that's a subscale, you should run this test to make sure they do load up properly and they are related properly to make sense to, to, to create a new variable out of them. So you don't have four, like this one, you, instead of dealing with five variables, you're only dealing with one. Oh, maybe that's how people have been doing that. It just, it, right, you don't want too many variables, right? If every question on a survey is a variable. So you wanna take those questions that are measuring the same thing, hopefully, and mush them into one new factor. So this sense. variable then, okay, when you're talking about, because I mean, we did some stuff with variables for the transformational leadership where we determine stuff, but this is not, we're not talking about that in the same way. No, 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 no. Okay, I got so, you. So, so instead of doing a reliability for each subscale, this looks at all of them and says, yes. Yes, it says lump them together, that's fine. It's fine to do that because they're greater than 0.7. So it's that's okay right. to do that. That's it exactly. So now the, and, and we're that, recording this, so I'll be able to see the steps you did. So you don't have to do it for the other ones because I can do those myself. Oh, I, I can do them in a second here. Let's just do okay. them. So okay. who, who, who's up next? Uh, that would be transactional. So it'd be contingent reward and management by exception active. All right, out with these guys. And... Contingent reward. Contingent reward. And management by exception active, which is that next one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. And again, it should be over 0.7. And you got a negative number I've never seen before. So I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> um, something not right here. Hold on a second. So I'm just going to correlate. Well, maybe it has something to do with the scales. Uh, no, 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 no. Because one is one is an ordinal scale and the other one is a regular number. That shouldn't have that much of a thing. I'm going to just run a regular correlation real quick to see if they are related in a good way. And that was contingent 
management. Should probably run a Spearman because one of them is. Uh, da, 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 but they are okay, so they're negatively correlated. So you would not use these together. Well, they go together to determine transactional leadership. But they're opposites of each other. So let me let me show you what I mean by that. So you're going to create a new variable called transactional, right? That's that's the sum of these two. That's how what I did. Yeah. So so what if you had a guy that had a zero? Right, so that means that the, 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 the two subscales are opposites of each other. So it doesn't tell you who's positive and who's negative, right? Which one of these is a positive number, which one of these is a negative number, if that makes any sense. But the, the outcomes on both of those are going to be positive numbers. Yeah, but the relationship between them is a negative correlation. So in other words, what this is saying is when contingent reward goes up, management by exception goes down. And vice versa. Okay, that's not the scoring guide doesn't really com communicate that. So, uh, maybe we should have reverse coded something. Well, it doesn't tell you to do that though. Okay, so if it doesn't tell you to reverse code, don't reverse code. So, yeah, because it just says that those two determine if somebody is more transactional, and it's just got it. It doesn't say anything about uh, inverse relationships or anything. Okay, so, okay, let's see if we can work around this. So you got one that goes up and one that goes down. And when you lump them together, you can't tell who's doing what. That really shouldn't be from what I know of that. Let, let me use my math brain on this sucker here. Uh, math, not okay. So these two, these two, these two. Maybe this is what they ran their ANOVA with. No, that was a, to it was a totally different one. It was more, it was for transformational. Okay, hold on, let me, let me play around with this thing. So if we put this in, Ascending order, right? So the zeros and the ones and the twos and the threes and the fours. Yep, I can see, right? As, as these numbers get bigger, right? A little bit, these numbers get smaller. That's really wild that they don't put that in here. And if so, when with this transactional thing, what did you do? Add them or take a mean or? I just add, I added them. Because it didn't say anything about them being an inverse relationship, which actually you could add them because it still gives you a range. Because just the one numbers go down, the other goes up, it still gives you a range. So I'm, I'm suspecting this bad guy right here, management by exception. Because it is, it is, we did use discrete numbers. So like this one, 2.5 plus one, is not three, right? 2.75 plus one is not 3.25. So is there... What happened? Yeah, I think that's what's going on is these these are in ordinal form and these are I just did a, I just did a, when I did the data, I just did a simple sum function. I didn't do anything fancy. Yeah, something happened here. Okay, that's right. Uh, there's, some, uh, like, there's your there should be decimal points on that column. I don't know if that makes a difference. No, it not. won't because we turned them into a. Um... All right, let's let's here. I'm gonna play around with stuff here. Hold on, please hold. No, 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 no. So I'm going to change the ordinal variable into a scale variable. Yeah. And let's see how would I do that? I would do this. I do this. I do this. 
and then I'm going to recode. But what am I going to recode? I'm going to recode. Management by exception active. This one. Yep. And so, so I'm going to, I'm going to change this. I'm going to recode this. I'm going to, I'm going to recalculate this. But I think what the. I don't think it's going to make a big difference, but at least the math will be right on it. Does that make sense? Well, I don't know why the math is off. Cause I mean, like I said, I did a simple sum function for those. I didn't see some, something, something did not go right. So there's a two plus zero. But see, that's not the thing is, is that what something in the conversion, cause that was probably 2.25. That's how it became 2.25. So when it, something happened between the spreadsheet and that. Yeah. Show me the, I'm going to, I got them right here. Please hold. So management by exception, management by exception. Management by exception. Oh, you're yeah. right. They're real numbers. Yeah. Well, what the hell, man? What the hell? I don't know. Is this the right one? Yeah. Yeah, contingent reward. Oh, oh, oh me, oh my. Please hold. Uh, na, 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 na. Decimal zero, hello, stupid computer. You should have picked up on that, you stupid computer. Oh, what had just happened? Uh, na, 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 na. Yeah, it was rounding. Yeah. Ah, what the hell? Oh, it works. Okay, there yeah. we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, now okay, so, yes, let's let's try that again. Now. Yeah. Um. Okay. Save. Analyze. Correlate. 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 Okay, so that is no longer that. Come on, you. You're not. You're supposed to be a different variable now. Reset. Cancel. Make sure I got that one right. Okay, it's just showing the same thing. Okay, analyze, correlate, bivariate. So we're doing contingent reward management by exception. All right. So if it's still negatively correlated, we still got something. Oh shit! Nothing changed. So they're they're opposite. They're inverses of each other. Okay, but the totals are right. But the totals are right. But again, it doesn't make any mathematical sense if these guys are opposites of each other, that when you add them together, they, they cancel each other out and you don't know who's doing what, right? Okay. Well, let's skip on to the next thing and I'll make a note of that to go back and explore that more. Correct, right? Because so, so like, let, let me take an example. You got a 3.25. So for this guy, that means two for contingent, 1.25 for management. But you've got another 3.25, the exact same number, where it's all contingent. Yeah. And not this at all. So that's where the confusion yeah. comes in. That's why you can't do it that way. So. Yeah. So we'll go to the next Kronbach for, um, we'll try passive avoidance and see if it's the same way. Passive avoidance. And then I'll, and I'll have to um, dig back through the scoring manual again and find out what the hell the deal is. Yeah. It, doesn't, it didn't say anything about it, so. Yeah. It, it might it, it, it might be one sentence that says in a, you know, reverse code all these things. You know, it could have been something simple like that, but I don't know. Or, yeah. or, or maybe. Well, if, it, if it is reverse, if it's reverse code, then all I have to do is go in and reverse code one of them. Do you got right? the questions we could look at? Because a lot of times it'll be negatively asked, you know, I, you know, how much do you hate chocolate ice cream? So that's a way that's a way that you can measure how much they love chocolate ice cream, right? It just depends if the if the question has been worded, what we call positively or negatively. <clears throat> I mean. So 
So is this managed by exception, passive, laissez-faire, and passive avoidant? Are they all three in the same boat? Are they all three uh, those scales two. of passive avoidance? Two of them. Management by exception, passive, and laissez-faire are subscales of passive avoidance. So passive avoidant total. Okay, so got it. Okay, so I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Scale reliability out with you. Uh, with you. Uh, manage by exception, lays off fair. Oh, excuse me. One, two, three is good to go. Those two are good. Okay, good. So it's just but, that one that's weird. It's just that one that's weird, and it's it's really weird. I mean, it's significantly weird. I mean, they're they're opposites of each other, which okay. which I'm thinking is probably something somewhere. It's got a sentence somewhere. So yeah, I'll, it's I'll look for it. Yeah, now normally you could tell by looking at the questions too. So yeah, I was trying to find my scoring guide because that's the that's the manual that the scoring guide is different. I don't know where I filed it. Hold on. It's in my dissertation file along with everything else. Here it is. All right. So the questions that go to contingent reason. Here, you, you want to show me? Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Share screen. Um, which screen do I want to share? Uh, this one. It's a little green one. There you go. You got it. You got it. You got All right. It. So. So now this is all for the lays up fair. No, the ones. Well, this is everything. But so, um, so we're looking for laissez faire leadership. Those questions. So it was contingent reward and management by exception. No, it was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Contingent reward. Uh, so that's one. It was management by exception active for. All right, so, so a load of the question so. within. All right, so this shows how they're scored. 24. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll get you the questions. I'm just writing down some of the Muchas questions. gracias. So question number one, provides me with assistance in exchange for efforts. All right, so that's positive. Yeah, right. focuses attention, positive. Positive. Discusses in specific terms who's responsible. Uh, I see something. What? They're highlighted. Some are highlighted, yeah, some are not. It, it doesn't, it's just the blocking thing because that continues. Okay, go back up, because back, 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 back. I saw one that was negative. Where? Which one? Is absent when needed. Okay, that one is, hold on while I go really quickly. That question is for laissez-faire because this shows which questions are getting to which subscale. So that's what I was writing down numbers. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so one is contingent reward. Four was management by exception active. Got it. 11 is contingent reward. Got it. I see what you're doing right there. So they shut uh, them. That's up. positive. 16 makes clear is positive. 22 concentrates full attention. Yeah, they're all. Oh, well, see, positive one. to me. There's one keeps track of all mistakes. That's a little negative, but not necessarily like they don't do something. That's management by exception active. So they aren't really worded. All right, so scoring the MLQ, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it just average scores for the items. It doesn't say anything about. So when you're doing them, it says like it says you take the total and divide it by four for contingent reward. And it says, you know, management exception divide by four. And then when you're um, so you calculate the average, and then it says it's not designed to encourage labeling of leader as this or this. One analysis is to compare the average for each scale and the norm. Okay. 
now which is what i used to make a determination so we're sure that those two subscales both go under transactional yeah and they're right here too okay, there it is right there so we didn't mess up active with passive did we nope this passive is with passive avoidance. That's how I remember them. You're not making this easy, Betsy. I know. <laughs> yeah. so, so that's the okay. Guy. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario that you use two separate transactional transactional yeah. A and transactional B because the way okay. they are now, you cannot use them like that. It's it's gonna it's somebody's gonna rip you apart for that. So okay. Or or use one. Just use one. Don't use them both. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing once you take it back. And then sometimes that happens. Sometimes, you know, even though, you know, best intentions, sometimes the data just isn't what you expect. It's crazy. Crazy. Okay. So then we would do Cronbox for job satisfaction, which is three subscales. Job satisfaction. Which is the intrinsic, extrinsic, and general for those three. All right. So, okay. So, so here's the first three. Analyze. Scale like a fish. All right. You guys out. All right. Intrinsic. Intrinsic one. So intrinsic. Extrinsic. And general. General satisfaction. I can't get no. Okay, we're gonna do that. No, no, no. Boom, 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 boom. Where it is. You're good. Alpha or your Grobax Alpha 0.887. Way higher than 0.7. So those three do do, do well. Okay. And then we'll do Cronbach for the three subscales for burnout. And that's intrinsic two, X ray and two, general satisfaction two. No, that's uh, emotional exhaustion, depersonalization, and personal accomplishment. Got it. Here we go. Out with you. Out with you. Out. Get out. Get out. Out, out damn spot. Out. So emotional, deeper, prefer, prefer, and personal accomplishment. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Uh oh, Chongo, you got something wrong. Okay. I figured it would be because personal <coughs> accomplishment, I think, is actually a positive. So I'll have probably have to do the same thing with that. That's what it's saying, right? It's, so if you look down here, and it says if you deleted one of them, if you deleted emotional exhaustion, your Chromebox Alpha goes really crazy. Same with depersonalization. Um, but so if, you, if, if we you do deleted just personal do? accomplishment, yeah then this would be, that's an acceptable one. So if How you got if you rid take, of personal accomplishment, you, these other two would be working together well enough. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I wanted to see if it would do that when you ran it though, because personal accomplishment is like a positive feeling where the other two are negative feelings. Okay, okay, all right. Now, if that is the case, you can reverse code on your own. You know? Yeah, yeah. Right? Think the positive, don't think the negative, think the positive, next. All right, so those are the, um, that's for the subscales. Well, what so about the next one, hmm? intrinsic two and extrinsic two? What about those guys? Those were just, those were the ones that were copies. Um, but they're, they're just repeat columns. Okay. So I don't, I'm not sure exactly why they, I'm, they're weird. Oh yeah, they're the exact same thing. No problem. Yeah. I normally would leave my dogs outside, but it's got a windshield of like negative five right now. So, where are you? Kansas. Oh, that's right. I don't want frozen poodles. Sorry about the, sorry about your loss. I know that was it was yeah. You know, shut up. It was terrible. It was horrible. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, my homes was seriously injured, and then they had guys missing off the line. It was just an ugly, ugly, ugly thing. I got a nothing but respect for my home. He got, he kept getting up. Yeah. With these five hundred pound guys were jumping up and down on him, what fifteen times? 
Yeah. I, I got to hand it to the guy. He is one tough cookie. He's going to be one of the greats. So Yeah, he's pretty hardcore. Yeah, he is pretty hardcore. Tough, tough. Okay. Tough. Now that we've identified which leadership, which which data sets are transformational, transactional, passive avoidant. Yes. I want to compare those leadership styles with general satisfaction. Uh, and then the burnout, which the burnout will be the challenging one because I want to do it emotional exhaustion and depersonalization together, but I did not do a total for them. Okay, so the general satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And the leadership styles. Leadership styles. So you want to see if there's a difference? Yes. This is an ANOVA. Okay. Analyze general linear model. Da -da -da -da. Univariate. So we're going to stick in general satisfaction as the DV, and leadership styles is the is the fixed factor, which means grouping IV. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go to uh, yeah, let's do post hoc. And uh, we don't care about that. And options we want uh, descriptives, effect size, power, 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 and homogeneity variance test. And that's about it. Remind me, if we're going to run an ANOVA, we should check the normality of the DB here in a second. Okay. So here is your means for general satisfaction, right? Uh, and I'm seeing a huge difference. Okay. You know, your high is other and your low is passive avoidant. So don't okay. be surprised if there is a significant difference. And the computer says, da, 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 da. where are you? Yes. There is a significant difference in general satisfaction scores between the four different leadership styles. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. And your effect size is really good. It's 0.256 and your power is acceptable, 0.846. Okay, so your effect size, talk to me about that. Effect size is the percent of the variance in the DB that you can explain by your groups. Okay. And um, this is considered a high effect size. So in other words, your results are very, very, very believable. That means your sample size was big enough. The difference that you were actually looking for is really there. And your power means your sample size was large enough. Which is acceptable. Yeah. So when you're talking about power and you like before you even run it and you're running a G power analysis, that's your that's, confidence that's, interval. Yeah. So when you run a G power analysis, you hope for those scores. You hope, right? Because you haven't done anything yet. You're just you're just hoping that it comes out like that. And yours did. Yours came out. So in other words, the short answer is whatever you were looking for, you found. It's there. Okay. So okay. there is a significant difference in general satisfaction scores based on the leadership style. And so who's the highest is other. other. Which actually makes sense if you think about it because they employ all of the pieces. So sometimes they're transactional, sometimes they're transformational. They're not stuck in one. Oh, and I, I, I forgot that we forgot to look at the, the postdoc test. It'll tell us between which types are significantly different. So this one says significant difference between transformational and transactional. No, we're looking at the SIG values here. So number yes. two, transformational and passive avoidant. Yes. yes. Transformational and other? No. no. So passive avoidant and transformational? Yes. Passive avoidant and other? Yes. So the difference are, the significant differences are the difference between transformational and passive avoidant and passive avoidant and other. That Those are where your two differences lay. Okay, I'll take it. Congratulations. And what's and the homogeneity? Homogeneity. Let's see about your homogeneity variance. It did not violate that assumption again. So the assumption of homogeneity variance was not violated. And we should probably check the, the, the normality right now. And we will go to analyze, descriptives, explore. And DV was general satisfaction. And we simply want that and maybe a histogram, if you please. And 
data was normal enough, not perfect, but it was normal enough. It did not violate the assumptions. Your data didn't violate any assumption. So what would it show there if it did violate it? This, this SIG value under the kolmogorov smirnov test would be less than 0.05. As okay. would normally the Shapiro Wilk test would agree with it. This would be less than 0.05. So now when um hold on. Because I was uh, Brenda Magente when she did her dissertation defense. I know Brenda. You know Brenda, because I know because you did you were her stats god for her too. Um there was something they asked her to do after. Oh, a Welch's test. To check for variance of means. Who asked her that? Um, it was a dude, and I can't think of who it was. Welch's test is a non-parametric piece of shit. Okay, let's get that. <laughs> but if you want to do it, we can do that. Now, okay, so there is something called the estimated uh, the difference of means, but it's going to agree with what you know already, right? So you know there's a difference between transformational and passive avoidant and passive avoidant and other. So this is going to come out to be the exact same. And I wish these people that don't know what they're talking about should just shut the hell Well, up. I just figured I'd head people off at the pass since I know they asked her for it and just. Yeah, yeah, well. Do, 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 do. So we're doing uh, estimated difference of means, which is the same thing as that we did before. I'm sorry, it's a little bit different, but it's, it's gonna agree with this thing. Where are you, you mean differences? <coughs> You're in there somewhere, come on. Oh, estimated that that guy is it? Okay, so mean, 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 Jennifer. No, this is our Tiki test. Where the hell are the goddamn means? I don't know. Yeah, I've never. I. I'm, yeah. I'm not even sure what a Welch's test is anymore. Let me let me real quick here just to keep you out of hot water here. So was it um, one to four, right? One to four. And, but this isn't going to be the Welch test. This is going to be the Kreskel Wallace test. And it's going to agree with your other test. Then don't worry about it, though. Um, it's going to show that there is a significant, whatchamacallit, somewhere. Come here. There it know. is down there underneath t the test, test statistics. Yeah, there it is. And it is significant. So it's, it said the same thing that the other test did. Okay. You, you didn't violate anything. So I don't know what he means by a Welch test. So who knows? I was just, I just wrote it down because I was watching it and I'm like, ooh. Um, so then I want to do the same leadership styles, but I want to do burnout. But that would be, I have two subscales for that. Emotional exhaustion and depersonalization. So I don't know how, can we run it with the two? Uh, yeah, we, uh, you, we would run them separately. Separately? Okay. Then separately. So mm -hmm. I want to do leadership style and emotional exhaustion and then leadership style and depersonalization. You got it. You got it. You got it. So, well, uh, personalization, per, which one? Um, emotional, emotional exhaustion. And okay. then after we run that, then we'll run the deeper depersonalization. All right, emotional ex exhaustion. No, no, no. Okay, did not violate the variance law. And there was a significant difference in there as well. And so that means that the passive avoidant guys were the high and the transformational were the low. So in other words, the transformational guys are the least emotionally exhausted. The passive avoidant guys are the most exhausted. Okay. Coming up. Coming up, depersonalization. Depersonalization, where are you? And then I guess since we're doing each one individually, we can do the um, personal accomplishment. Yeah, we should. Sure as well, dog <laughs> killing me. 
Richard thinks I have aliens for animals. I just need to turn off the sidewalk channel is what I need to do. Do what? Do. You know, they got doggy channels. <laughs> My sister turns on the doggy channel for her little poodle. He's... Well, I turn the TV on when I'm gone just so they have background noise. I don't have to yeah. dog channel. All right. Um, okay, so you got a problem here. It did violate the assumption of homogeneity, but you can still get away with it. And it says there was a significant difference between the depersonalization scores. So we're going to go back upstairs and see who's who. So the lowest depersonalization scores were the transformational guys. And again, the highest guys were the passive avoidant. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. All right, next up, uh, personal accomplishment. And then we could do the personal accomplishment. Personal accomplishment. So it looks to me, I bet, you know, I bet money right off the bat that the transformational are going to be the highest. I mean, I would think. And okay, did not violate assumption, was a significant difference. And yep, we, we get right on the head, right? So transformational are the significantly highest personal accomplishment and the lowest is other but it's like almost like a three-way tie yeah okay but yeah cool. transformational is the one to be so let me ask a question because my next thing i wanted to do i was uh i don't think i need to do it now because i was looking because i have so many sub skills for leadership that i was going to look at comparing each sub scale to those same things but i don't think i need to do that yeah, you probably don't, but we could do them all at once if you want. We could do a, a quick cheat. We, we, we'd run a man over. We stick them all in there at once and we just read down the list to see if there is any significant difference in the subscales. Now, okay. so, okay, watch this. And no, 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 no. We have it all in there anyway, right? Yeah, so what are you, so what are all the subscales? Um, so we can, we can do all of the subscales. Are, are you talking about? For the dependent variables. Yeah, for all the dependent variables. So uh, any, anything that's marked as scale? Uh, yeah, basically. All right. So we're going to do that. Now, there is a limit in SPSS how many we could do. Oh, you, don't need the, you don't need that transformational total, though. That's going to be all the way at the bottom. You can take that one out. Out with you. Uh, no, 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 and then, no, no, no. Don't, yeah. don't need the totals. Don't need the totals. And then those last two. Get out of there, you. Where are you going to say there is a limit? Of how many DVs it'll run at once. So, but we're going to go, hopefully it'll, it will not blow up on me here. So, and then we're just going to look to see if there's a significant difference. We want options. And again, yeah, we want the homogeneity. And again, this isn't the real test because these aren't really correlated with each other, but it's a huge shortcut. So what we're doing is we're going to, no, not that one, not this one. We're going to this output. So we're only looking at the SIG values that are less than 0.05. So between the four leadership types, there was a difference in intrinsic, extrinsic, general satisfaction, emotional exhaustion. In fact, they're all significantly different until you get down to Idealized influence behavior. That is not significant. Excuse me. And again, okay, that's it. They're significantly different for everything except for one of the DVs. So how would what would I say that? Basically, the subscales. Actually, sorry, leadership type. If you got to be careful because if, if you're if they, they might accuse you of what we call fishing and that means you're, you're looking for significant differences everywhere you can think of which you know all of us really do anyway but um i may just not include that and then just know it so if somebody asks me i can say i did it yeah because you, you should run the real way to do this is run an anova individually on each and every one Right. And every time you do, you got to write it up. You know, there was a significant difference here, here, here. And you got to do the F parentheses, blah, 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 blah. 
for every one of these and that's too many right you can't you can't run 20 different ANOVAs people are jump on you and yeah I don't want to do that okay games, so all right so then I want to look at next up on our hit parade see hit parade <laughs> I'm dating myself hit parade. Ah, you are We'd be looking at leadership style and administrative burden. Administrative burden. Okay. Let's take, what does administrative burden look like? There it is right there. Hmm. Huh. So they're ordinal. Okay. We're going to do this two ways. We're going to run an ANOVA first, and then we're going to run a, um, a chi-squared test second. So out with you and burden, burden. And administrative burden, that was the one where I was telling you the numbers were assigned based on percentage of time they spent with administrative tasks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. So this says no. So the ANOVA says there was no significant difference in the administrative burden scores based on their leadership styles. But now, since it's an ordinal variable, that might be misleading. Okay, this might be misleading. So, oh, and your power is shit too. So, but let, let's try. Let's just try a backup plan. We're going to go into the chi-squared test, and we're going to pretend they're both categorical variables, and there might be something there. So, let's see: leadership style and administrative burden. And what do we want? We don't want that one, and, but we do want this one. We want the chi squared and the phi and the Kramer's V, and we want cells expected and standardized, the residuals, and we click OK. So this will tell us if, if example, transformational guys tend to be um, have higher burden scores or something like that. But what we're going to look at is this number right here, and because it's not less than 0.05, there ain't nothing going on. So in other words, um, their leadership type has nothing to do with their administrative burden. And see what I was saying in my dissertation that I believed that as administrative burden increased, leadership style would change. That is not true. That is not true. Correct. Good to or, know. I'm sorry, the data does not does support not, that. The data does not suggest that. Correct. All right, the next up is gender and leadership style. Okay, here we go. And again, this is going to be another, when we compare two categorical variables, that makes it a chi-squared test. And so we go down here and unfortunately, no, there is no relationship between gender type and leadership type. Now, if you had a bigger sample size, you might it might have gone that way because your significance is 0.15. That's not that far. It's only one tenth away from 0 0.05. But again, as it stands right now, the data does not suggest that there was a relationship between gender and leadership type. Okay. So then the last one I have is treatment setting and leadership style. And treatment setting was the one we did for like private practice and got it stuff here we go oh, no, 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 no. again that's going to be a chi squared Ooh, oh, where am i wrong one better do to analyze descriptives cross tabs and treatment setting right yes. tax setting <laughs> <laughs> nope nothing there so I'm looking at likelihood ratio is what I'm looking at, or am I looking at chi-square? You're looking at Pearson's chi-squared. You're looking at the this, this significance, the asymptotic significance of the chi-squared test. And that one is pretty big, so it's probably not a, a sample size issue. No, not at all. In fact, this, this tells you, this is significance. You can kind of say it's the percent that the, it's the percent of the probability that the null hypothesis is true. So the null is 65% is true, more than likely it's true. 
we only reject the null when the when the sig value gets down to under 0.05. Right. So if something okay. is five percent or less true, then we probably say it ain't true. It's probably false. Okay. Not quite as thrilling as I had hoped, but at least I have stuff to write about. No, you got a ton of stuff, man. You're practically finished. You've done a lot. I'm really impressed. I'm happy for you. Jeez. Did I tell you I got a cousin named Betsy? No. <clears throat> I got a cousin named Betsy. Is her name? Oh, I did. We did talk about this because I asked if she is a real Betsy or an Elizabeth. That is a good question. I'm pretty sure she's a real Betsy. She might be Elizabeth, but you know, I've only met her like twice in my in my lifetime. So, so we're she's obviously a kissing cousin. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I don't think so. She's really nice. I mean, she's real friendly. We my my uncle passed away. I you know, I'll be honest with you. We we were close when we were younger, but as the 30 and 40 years went by, we, you know, the family just kind of drifted apart. Yeah. And I, th I thought he was dead. <laughs> so, I thought he had died 20 years ago. But that's okay. Was... I have uncles and aunts and I'm like, are they dead? I can't remember. <laughs> right. He, and he, you know, he was 90 and I found out from my cousin that he had spent the, like the last five years in a home and oh my God, I'm going, please, uh, please yeah. God, do not. Let Something's better off not knowing. Yeah, I agree. I didn't want to be like that. So, all right. So I'm going to send you this output. I'm going to send you the input. And I'll send you, I think that's it, right? So. Uh, what, can you send me the Zoom recording? The what? Oh, well, yeah, the Zoom recording. So the Zoom recording takes a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah. So it might it might not come until tomorrow morning. Um, but let me, let me see what's going on here. So let, let's get okay. out of here. I'll stop recording.